The IWMF has been working to support female journalists for the last 30 years. We at the IWMF really believe in the need for a diversity of the news media and the principle that the news media should reflect the society on which it's reporting. The group of us decided that women in journalism internationally weren't getting the attention that they should get. Opportunities were there for women, but they weren't always being recognized. Our founders wanted to improve the opportunities for especially women overseas. The environments in which we worked were different, but the basic conflicts and problems were the same. Our mission was twofold. It was to support women, to create opportunities for women, but it also was very much to support a free press. Female journalists around the world find themselves in very similar positions. What differs is the levels at which they hit the glass ceiling. Women's voices, whether they're in America, whether they're in Africa, whether they're in Asia, are not heard. That's a common problem across the world. To be promoted in media houses when you are a woman is not really very easy. In media houses, especially in Rwanda, we have under 4% of female leaders. Your identity is boxed. You're only made to do certain stories, especially in a country like India, where there aren't many women journalists. The kind of harassment you get, the way people treat you on Twitter, the reactions people have to you on the street, it can all compound and create a really uncomfortable and grinding mental space over time. It's getting tougher by the day, especially for women independent journalists, misogyny, online hate. I was the subject of a vitriolic and extremely radical online harassment. I can't even disclose the name of a colleague who I might work with on the ground because it could be putting their lives at risk just to be working on a story with me. One of the great marks of today's IWMF is the training for women so that they are prepared to go into situations where they may be vulnerable. We have started providing more and more opportunities for female journalists to set their own course through grants and reporting opportunities, but also through skills building and fellowship. The opportunities that IWMF offers are unbelievable and totally unique and really, really hard to find. Estos programas nos permiten crecer profesionalmente y lograr informar lo que la mayoría no está informando y que logra esos cambios. The IWMF prepared me to encounter various challenges as a female reporter in different contexts and know how to handle them appropriately. I got an emergency fund from the IWMF as an independent journalist with absolutely no resources. In IWMF program, it's not only the content, it is also encouraging women to show up, to, to speak up, to be self-confident. The experience of starting this organization, keeping it going, and seeing it grow and develop to the stage where it is now, where it's such a force for good in the world, that was a wonderful experience. What the IWMF has been able to do is to shine a light on these places where freedom of the press does not exist and where women are up against unbelievable odds just to do their job. By supporting the IWMF, you're really supporting a diverse community of journalists who are reporting from around the world, many from their homes, from their societies, and we're getting an in-depth look at the issues. El trabajo que hace la International Women's Media Foundation es clave en el empoderamiento de las mujeres periodistas en los medios o de las mujeres trabajadoras de medios, no solamente periodistas, también documentalistas, también fotoperiodistas, también mujeres que son freelance. When people are thinking about the International Women's Media Foundation, I think they should remember that the press cannot truly be free without the equal voice of women. You have the tools, you have the skills, and you have the voice, and you have a whole network of women behind you, just like you, asking, no, demanding for what's ours.